way. Good hit right there. Oh wow, we're so fucked. Oh, our countermeasure our countermeasures fucking worked right there, boys. Yo guys, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to some more cross out. Today we are gonna be building the most OP setup you can in game right now. And what that mainly consists of are homing missiles. And that's the only thing you put on your craft. So let's go ahead and get started. If you don't know, if you haven't faced homing missiles yet in the game, it's literally the most annoying, no, the most annoying thing in the game so far. There's no counter to it. I mean, granted, there's no counter to being a shot by a cannon, but you're still able to use a terrain to hide from it. Literally, what you're able to do with these things, you can spot some of them for a second, and you can place these missile launchers a certain way to get around terrain and obstacles to where you can't hide from them. And they're super, um, they track very well, so it doesn't matter how fast you are or what type of maneuvers you pull, you're getting hit. And right now, it is, I think it's game-breaking. Not that there's homie missiles, but there's really no counter. Um, some players have devised a counter for it, not even being put into the game yet they just have from experience they've realized that it targets the higher or the closest portion to the rocket and normally what that is is higher elevated um structure so that's what we're going to do today too i'm going to teach you guys to have how to have some countermeasures that isn't supplied by the game mechanic but it still works in game so let's go ahead and get started what we're going to be doing today is building a pretty compact craft with missiles underneath to fire in front of me and missiles um vertically to fire up and over obstacles okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to extend my six by four by one slot and i want to be as compact as possible um that's not only to be a small signature to the other players but it's also to be a salt a small signature or silhouette to the rocket or the other incoming missiles so it's easier to dodge and they don't have so many spots to latch on Okay, so behind here, we're going to add all our goods. We're going to put our gas generator in the back of here. Now, just know, if we get hit by a barrage of rockets, we're pretty much screwed. Why is this thing not centered? Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll do it like this, I guess. I don't really know if that's that effective, though. Um, we'll see later. All right, now let's go ahead and add our rocket system here. Now, this is my first time building this craft, so I'm just going to have to feel my way through it. Now, I could add the hurricane launcher, but I'm going to stick to... Uh... Ah, so I found out what pyre means. It, it means a heap of combustible material, especially one for burning a, cor a, a corpse as part of a funeral ceremony. Holy shit, these weapons just breathe OP from their name. What the fuck? Okay, so we're going to put these vertically... If we can get there, first of all. Okay. So we're going to put two here. And um, let's just see how much energy we have. Now, these only take two energy? What? That is insanity. Okay, we could put some on our sides. A lot of players have been putting theirs underneath their car. Let's see if we can imitate that real quick. So what, what they would do is this. Excuse me here. And they'll put a structure here. And underneath that structure, they would put a pyre launcher. See, we do have some slots down there to put it. And as you can see, how does that work? I have no idea. No idea how that even works in the game. But it does, and players have been doing that. So let's go ahead and try to recreate that for ourselves then okay i'll put two here actually i'll put one chassis right there and then i'll put two girders or uh, structure pieces on the sides like how does that even work dudes okay rotating them over splash one splash two Okay, now let's add some wheels just to test out this design real quick. Um, let's do some medium wheels real quick. Ah, but as you can see, I don't think that would work. They, It looks like it's going to hit the ground, doesn't it?
It really works from underneath the craft like that. No way. As you can see, the missiles are aimed towards the ground right now. But they launch straight up. Oop. I missed that targeting though. So after some more testing, um, I think it would be better if the rocket systems, or at least for the front attack, are underneath the car. But just for this video, I want to see them performing outside of it. Uh, but the reason having them under here is better is because, let's say a missile strike comes in, hits your craft, hits your cabin. These things have a pretty high chance of blowing off in the first hit. Okay, so let's replace this. Actually, we don't need to here. Is that how the other ones look? I think so. Okay, let's test these out real quick. Hello? Now only... Only three launched. Why is that the case? What the hell? Looks like something might be blocking the second shot. Ah. Okay, as you can see, on the left side they work out, but this is just too low over here um, to launch. So let's see if we can move this. Like, will this work? I know it won't look pretty, but it will get the job done. There goes all four. Okay, so successful launch right there. Not SAF, but it will work. Alright, so we ran out of the um, fire launchers. So what we're going to do is that we're going to be using a hurricane launcher for the rear or the vertical setup. Now let's go ahead and again get our gas generator online here. We'll just put it right here. Who really cares? Actually, I do. we got to make it look somewhat nice. No, we'll, yeah, we'll put it like this. No one's, no one's really going to know. All right, so what we're going to need is ammo packs and the hurricane launcher. Now, I think the hurricane launcher, I want to be a vertical launch. So let's see here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lanta. All right, let's see what happens here. Now, see, they track back down. They have a ton of flight time, which is a good thing. Also, let's put up a radar. Let's see where we're going to put this bad boy. Um, I'll put it in the front. <laughs> Just for right now. Okay. So, I will show you what the uh, back launcher is supposed to do. So, let's say we're heading away from combat. Someone's chasing us, maybe. Launching. Oh my gosh. It's going to be insane, man. Can they really track back that? Oh man. This is going to be good. This is gonna be good. Okay, so we have our improved radar. Let's add some ammo packs to this beast. Wonder how many we can fit here. <laughs> okay, that's much better looking. And then we'll put some more ammo packs right here because we're gonna be shooting these rockets for days. So we'll just make this deck look nice and clean here. Okay, we'll add some lower panels. We'll actually, we'll actually add a container wall here. Oh, look at this! It's looking real nice! Okay, now we'll put our radar back here. And then now, we will start to construct our countermeasure systems. Now, the theory is that I think players have in I is that the radar or the missiles will try to contact or hit the, the closest thing to them at any time. So having something higher, the radar is going to, or the missiles, if, if I said radar, I apologize. The missiles are going to track that point as fast as possible. Okay, so structure, it should be down here. We'll use these planks. If 
think we're fucking done. We have a good weight, good speed, and good fucking firepower. Ah, look guys, look where the missiles track. Watch. Hang on, let me get way over here so we don't have that, the hurricane launcher exploding on the top of us. Look at where they'll, 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 tra they'll track to. It's higher, it's to a higher point. And as you see, after that missile hit, I'm damaged, but all my components, except my hurricane launcher, are still intact, so I do have one more shot ability to get off. Now let's try to add one more line up here. What will this do? Okay, getting a little bit higher. Don't really like how high this is now, but we'll see what happens. Look at where it raises the aiming at. Look at that, everything's A-OK. -okay. Man, it actually fucking works. Holy crap. All right, so now we're gonna add just a little bit of um, a detail here. I wanna be, let's be, um, Mm. Oh man, this looks annoying. Oh man, we're ready to go, boys. Ready to go. All right, here we go. So I had to modify our craft a little bit. I had to take away two of the uh, small launchers. Uh, but instead, we put our hurricane up top so that can fire forward with us. Now, the thing is that we're not going to abuse this account too much. Uh, if we win two or three in a row, we're going to leave the game and go PvE because I don't feel like ruining people's... Um, you know, time and effort in the game uh, if, if I have a press account. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on the on the right side of the map here. As you can see, I took away the two left side. Honestly, we, we might move the other, one of the rockets back over to the other side so we make it SAF. All right, here we go, launching. Pop, 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 pop. Enemy destroyed, wow. <laughs> oh shit, someone's actually right here though. So we lost that strike because our radar contact contact got um, broken up there by another enemy. Not really fair, is it, guys? Not really fair at all. So we'll turn back to the base. It looks like we're being captured. No worries. We'll just return back to base. That guy should be dead, though, pretty soon. Let's see what this guy's about to do right here. So he's still moving up. We're, our rockets are reloaded here. Like, that's not fair at all, boys. Really not. And it looks like we might be captured here. We'll see if we can go reset. Luckily, they won the game. I'm actually glad they won the game. <laughs> <laughs> really glad they won the game. All right, so we'll play. We'll play two more. We'll play two more because, ah, uh, man, I feel like I feel like I'm a criminal right now with this build. Okay, so we're versing. I mean, they do have some pretty good power levels. Their power levels. One guy is above me, so we'll see. We're we're gonna try to focus that guy if we can. But deep down inside, I really don't want to win this. They really don't. I'm glad they won last game. Okay, so what we'll do is that we'll uh, camp here for a little bit in case they want to flank. And it's kind of funny, this um, this um, structure countermeasure actually gives you more view over the battlefield, which is pretty nice. Just chill here for a little bit. I know one or two might come. If not, we'll have an open flank ground. There goes that guy. Okay, he almost took out one of my uh, launchers, it felt like. We're going to push up now. He almost got away right there. Uh, his craft was fast enough that it kind of... Uh, the, ro the rockets almost couldn't uh, hang with his uh, momentum going away from me. Alright, who's over here who wants to get rocketed? We got Mr. Weedy over here. That guy, his build looks like an AI build from this side. 
But uh, he does have a 76 millimeter turreted on top. And this is how a lot of um, uh, this 5,000 plus or even 4,000 plus uh, power score matchmaker is going. A lot of players are researching these small missile launchers and they do a fuck ton of damage. Not, uh, I just gotta show it to you guys. This is just for, this is just for, uh, and we're gonna launch on this guy if we can. He's engaging Samantha right now. Looks like Samantha killed him. Now we got two more players left. This is just for science, guys. That's all. Look at that. Look at that, dude. We'll play one more. One more, man. And then I need to go, like, build a house for somebody or, like, mow their yard for free. I swear, dude. So this is our last game, I promise. And this is mainly, as I said before, for science and to show the community on a broken weapon type in the game. Um, if, if they have lock-on missiles, um, there has to be some form of chaff or countermeasures or something that the game gives you on your craft because these things run rampant, as I said before, in the higher tiers. Okay, breaking radar contact, those things will still track. They're fire and forget. 600 damage, look at that. Beautiful. Now a lot of the times these players who I shoot at can't even see the missiles really. Now can that guy get in cover? Oh, looks like Hannah took the bait right there for him. There goes ha uh, Hannah. Sandra's down here. We'll go after the AIs if we can. Okay, so we got one sniper on the top over there. Now we have tw we have so many more rockets left, man. This is going to be insane. Okay, let's chill out right here for a little bit. Missiles away. Are those really going to hit him? Oh my gosh, we just hit him from this range. That is scary sauce. Looks like he's pulling back or... Oh, well, he's hiding right in the middle right there. Now what we can do, I think they're... I think they're camping over here to the left. We can push over here and just send some rockets into the air and they should guide down to hit him. We got Helen right here. Mr. Weedy's pushing across the map or he's gonna be over here soon. He's dead. Surprised my radar couldn't find him right there. Misses away. This guy's dead. Alright, one more guy left, and then we're going PvE. Man, I feel like a fucking asshole right now. I really do. But we got to bring this shit to light, man, because once you guys, you know, get into the beta and get past 4,000 power score, you're going to encounter this all, all day long, and it gets really fucking annoying. GG. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this, man. Oh, I feel so much better in this game mode. I love working together against, P against an AI. I love killing AIs in this game. Okay, El Diablo's Gorge. We got some pretty good power scores too, compared to the normal average of like 2,000, 3,000. We got, we, I think we got a 4,000 here. Okay, so let's just chill here. We're the highest power scores. So we gotta be careful. Now, in this game, we're gonna be having two additional rockets fly off, fly out. So it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Okay, I think I see the uh, Le Leviathan over here. Really? Look at that, man. What? So that was some bullcrap last game. And now we have even more bullcrap. He has fucking missiles too. Away. 
Good hit right there. Oh wow, we're so fucked. Oh, our countermeasure our countermeasures fucking worked right there, boys. I can't believe that at all. Wow. They actually worked. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That was awesome. Okay, now where is the other guy at? We got a new Leviathan coming in, I think, from the right side. I don't see anybody yet. Actually, I see him now. There he is. Way down yonder. Come on, track him. There we go. You gotta retreat here. Go after the guy right in front of you. There you go. This guy looks pretty hefty as shit, too. Get as many rockets as we can away right now. Oh, man. That last second, we should have been able to, la to launch our uh, hurricanes, but we weren't able to. We gotta rescue our teammate over there. Actually, he's just he's dead anyways. Well, who the hell did we do? Oh, shit, there he is. Run away, run away from him. Just run away. Get turned back around now. Oh, that's so much damage, too. This guy's tough. Fire the hurricanes. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one. Jesus. Just like that. This guy is still trying to pull through here. Okay, the mission ends in 50 seconds though, so we might be able to pull this off. Now we gotta kill all of them, I believe. Okay, he's dead. Now where's the damn last guy at? Can't see him right here. Ah, I think he's over here. Small raider. Now behind him should be the Leviathan. Nope, not at all. There he is. Oh my Lanta. He looks massive. Shit. No, I don't want to go for the small raider. I'd rather go for the big Leviathan over here. <laughs> Look at this freaking beast of a fucking leviathan. Oh, it was a good try, lads. It's a good try. Okay, there goes one down. Pretty successful uh, run right there. Now we picked up one more extra player too, so this, so this is much better than last time. We'll just kill some of these raiders real quick. Oh, we just, did we just get a double kill right there? Nope. There, there's, there's another, uh, Leviathan. No, no, don't come for me! Go away! Actually, come for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay, so we got another spawn here. Yes! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Pop, 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 pop. Heard a lot hit right there. Let's see how damaged he is. Nope, he's, he's still rolling good. Okay, set. Oh, wow. That, those, those are some big hits right there. Those should be the last barrage for him. Jeez, this guy's a lot of health. That guy who's uh, face hugging is pretty. Oh, he just flipped a Leviathan over? That's badass. Come on. Okay. One more left. One more left. Oh, okay. I think it's coming from this way. Careful, boys. That guy. Oh my gosh, we're so screwed. Come on, lock. There we go. 
Keep reversing, keep reversing. Oh god, he's gonna target me next. Get some more rockets off before we die. Come on, more, 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 more. Yes! Good! We took him down to a very little. Now let's see if our team can pull this off. This guy only has, he has still a lot of shit left. Come on, boys. You guys can do this. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Get him, get him, get him. Push, push, push. Get his hole, get his hole. Oh, gosh. There goes a, a cannon in front. I thought he was on fire. Yeah, he is on fire. Good job, guys. Woo! Nice shit, boys. But all right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We really got to clear up this homing missile bullcrap in the game. We, we, we need some form of countermeasures other than these. I'm actually surprised this worked in that PvE game. We really got to bring that stuff to light for the developers of this game or the game balancer of Bane, ugh, Bane balancer, game balancers of this game. But all right, guys, until next time, do me a favor. Have a great day. Peace out, boys.